Hi, this is Frank Track here. Uh, I've got another ship to show you. I have got the Zindi Escort, the insectoid one. So this is the fourth one in the line of ships. Uh, the line of ships that I own anyway. Uh, absolutely well impressed. Lovely looking. Really is a good looking ship. And has a lot to go with it. It really does. I haven't bothered putting the special console on. There's only a couple of the consoles that I do like the Zindi bit. Uh, it's part of the four piece set. As you can see there, with the weapons amplifier. Let's quickly show you what you'll get. So, two set there. She had an extra 10% uh, impulse. You can read the stats on that. So yeah, I don't see the point of putting all four on. I'm just taking up console space that I don't need. I need it for other stuff to make this an absolute badass ship. Because that's what it is. It really is a badass ship. I absolutely love it. So let's have a look at a bit of the customization. Now, to me, that is just pure fucking sexy. Excuse the language. Pure sexy. It really is a very, very good looking ship for an escort. There's not many of the escorts that I do like, but this, yes, definitely. There's not many things that you can actually do with it but uh, you have to have the same bridge windows same you can't put on a new skin obviously you can go through different patterns that you want stuff like that change a few of the colors but that's it in its natural state but it just looks so good really good it's worthy of a video but most ships are but I'll show you, quickly have a look at the bridge before we do anything. Now I've just gone for a full beam build on this. As I say, look at the ship, don't look at what's on it. Everyone to their own build. At the moment, Antiproton's king. Ideally, I do want to start making a lot more different beams and I want a... Uh, a phaser set. I would love a phaser set. Especially for me, Ferengi ship, the decal class. I want one for that. And what else was I after? A plasma set. I think they're the two sets that I really, really want at the moment. But again, it's making them, getting them all up and running. So, this is the inside of it. As you can here you can hear the gases there you can see the gases coming up see it around there that's pretty cool Let's see if I can zoom out anymore ceiling's filthy need to clean it cobwebs uh, what have we got here yeah right. select small crafts Contact duty officers. We've got here access library. We should have. Have I missed it? Oh, there it is. Account. So it's not a massive bridge. Obviously, there's no doors that you can go through as usual. There's the map. Um, yeah. It's an okay bridge, not the best. Displays move a little bit. It's okay, no chair. So obviously you just have to put your hands on these little panels here and wiggle them about and fly the ship about. But it looks pretty cool anyway. Apart from being absolutely filthy, need to go clean. Yeah, it looks good, but for insects, Probably is the right state, actually. <clears throat> but yeah, that's the internal of it. Let's say, looks alright, pretty cool. 
always disappointing. You can't go through the doors and have a bit more of a look around. But hey, you can't expect too much. So that's the interior. So we've shown you the interior now. We've shown you the customization, stuff like that. Let's go up into space where she really does make a difference up there. It's such a good looking ship. I should imagine in the right hands this Escort will be absolutely stupidly killing machine. Now I've messed about with um, beams and that on it. Uh, I actually like the look when I put this on. I like the display it gives you. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice lines, nice shape. Flies good. The only thing I don't like is that. But yeah, it's um pretty sweet. You could get probably a lot more turn rate on it. Well, for what I want it for, for all the different ships, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, that's her in space anyway. Now, I've named it the Crazy Dutchman. A friend of mine, I said to him, gives a name for it, because I've got that many ships lately on different characters that I'm running out of names. So he said the Crazy Dutchman. So, that's what it is. That's how it's sticking. So, stations. Let's have a look at these. We've got a Universal. I've kept with a bit of engineering up there. Two tactical. Another engineering there. Science. I can't remember whether that's intelligence. Is it intelligence, that one? Bowley in it. Um, I can't remember what that bloody thing. What it is now. But anyway, so we've got four up front, three at the back. It really does appreciate the beams. It's turned so well that hitting everything with all the beams just seems to work. It really does. So that's the loadout I've got on it. I like it like that. It does a lot of damage and it looks pretty cool. Stats. Not too bad on the transfer rate. I can take that a lot higher if I want. Uh, hull repair, 186. Not bad. 214 on the shield. Mm. Nav hero there. For an escort, I would say that's pretty good. Shield, not bad. Uh, kinetic resistance is not bad. Uh, 15120. I'd say that's pretty good. Accuracy could do with being a little bit higher, I must admit. <coughs> Turn rate, flight speed. See how much faster it can go now. 41. It's not bad that at all. Let's just stop that a minute. Um, just decline that for the moment. Uh, yeah, so that's the stats that I've got on it. Obviously, it's each to your own, on your own build. That's what I like, and that's what I've put on it. Everybody will... There'll be a lot of uh, people that'll disagree and say you should have gone this way, should have gone that way, but hey, each their own on ships. So that's what I've got on it. Uh, I haven't bothered putting on a little console. If I put on all four, I'd be taking up loads of spots for different things, and that's how I want to keep it at the moment. So the only thing really now to show you is her in battle. 
So we got a teammate with us at the moment. And he's Geller. He's gonna take us into a bit of action, hopefully. take us in so yeah I mean I love beams on it I mean yeah I've tried a cannon build on it I went for the uh, Andorian and uh, it looked really really good to be honest because the size of the projectiles like fires out and stuff like that it looked really good but unfortunately I've not upgraded them yet so there weren't that much I could do DPS wise but saying that I, I could have showed it yeah but what we'll do, we'll take her into a little bit of battle. Oh, I've tried the Disruptor build on it as well, off the Geller. The, the Andorian that I have had on it. As you can see, I've been messing about with total different builds here, there and everywhere. And walk cores and shield and God knows what else. <coughs> but that's the build I like on it at the moment. As you'll see in a minute, it's um, pretty devastating. Oh, they're the little hanger pets that I forgot to tell you about. There's two lots. They're the ones that I've chosen for the moment. I'm hoping to get the fleet ones very, very soon. To be honest, you won't notice them that much. You don't see them. They're only little tiny blips, the fighters. <coughs> So going in for a little bit of bug this. So let's see, get these little fighters out. Where are they? See, they're that small. You can't see them. It's ridiculous. That just looks awesome with the bits on there and the bits on there. Fire out the front. So tiny though. There they are. Little tiny things. This thing is a monster. Let's go this side with my teammate. Turns so well. It's just nothing lasts. It's ridiculous. Oh, I forgot to show you the special trait. I'll show you the special trait before we finish. As you can see the little colouring of the fight is then. Just an amazing ship, it really is. I 
That's a good guy. Don't want to fight that. Some more ships out. the rest of them. I'd love you to leave me my comments on there and tell me what you think of the ship. Very, I mean, it's gone down a hell of a lot since um, I bought it. And the price that you pay for this ship is not enough. It is, I can't praise it highly enough. But I've never had a bad Cindy ship. Never. I can't say I've ever had a bad Zindy ship. Or a Zindy ship that's not worthwhile buying. just a pure killing machine but looks good that's the best thing about it So the faster you can take him out, the less you're doing to your shield, so it just makes so much sense. hit there. Um... <clears throat> 
What an excellent ship, honestly. See, I'm not over keen on the... I think, I think I might be wrong on it, but I don't know whether it's the Council of Thoughts. Let's have a quick look. Uh, or is it not on this one? Yeah, Council of Thoughts. Uh, damage, nearby allies. That's about 10. Hmm. Some traits can be very, very useful. Some, yeah. Neither here or there, really, for me. I seem to just stick to certain ones and it seems to work. Side up. Yeah, uh, the Zindi ships are probably some of my favourites. Um, apart from your Jemadar Gellers and stuff like that, I think the Zindi ships do have to come in that class of some of the best ships out there. I mean, the first lot they released to the second lot they've released, it's. They're just so good. Thing these ships don't seem to last. Maybe the fleet ones would be um, a lot better. Must be coming close to this being done. Excuse me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will be I mean, really, yeah, the board disconnected. I think you're probably one of the better ones to show how a ship is against different factions all at the same time. Uh, 
let's get some of these little mini ships out. More ships. Be awesome if you could get a dreadnought like that, wouldn't it? I mean, look at the bloody size of it. That'd be awesome. They both need another ship. I mean, you've already got one dreadnought, but I can't understand how they can give a dreadnought just two consoles or. I think they rounded it off to uh, three, did they? Not over sure on that one. It's been a while since I've played in that ship. have been destroyed. Warships. So that's her. I've shown you in battle what she's like. You're welcome, Seven. And the traits, the internal, what it looks like. I mean, it is a cool ship. I mean, if I was going to recommend one, this is it. This is a really good tier 6 ship. Um, for the money, I mean, it's less than 100 mil now. It's stupid not to accept it. It really is. Uh, to buy it, sorry. Um, if you're looking for a really powerful, good, good looking, fast ship, this is her. This is it. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, leave your comments likes, subscribes please uh, I will give you a quick preview on the next one uh, let's have a guess where is she will be making this actual one in a couple of days actually because I've got a few days off work um, so that's her for the next one gonna be a beast gonna be a beast so yep yeah, thank you very much for watching Let's say likes and subscribes please and I will see you soon and this is Frank out